At any rate, this one sold, I bought it for five bucks. It sold for 150 bucks. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in my eBay cave today. And I have unexpectedly, as I'm sure so many Americans have, transitioned from being at work every day to not being at work every day. I'm from Virginia, almost every state around the country, but Virginia was one of the first, I believe. They shut down everything. All of the schools, the school systems are closed. Now, we did have to go into work yesterday, and we went in yesterday and basically tried to figure out a plan on how to do some kind of educational program of some sort with the Chromebooks that the kids have and all that. So we're, we haven't quite ironed that thing out yet. We're not sure how that's going to work, but I know there's going to be a lot more time at home unexpectedly. So that death pile over there is going to have a big giant dent in it, I hope. Um, and I hope this thing uh, moves through and moves on out of here. Nonetheless, I've unexpectedly gone from a part-time picker to apparently almost a full-time picker down here in this eBay cave. And uh, we hope you all are well out there and we're just going to continue on doing what we do and being careful as we do it. We did have some really interesting sales. It didn't sell a bunch. I only have seven things going out of here today. And of course we have the Inaman going out as well. But one of the sales was really, really good. And you know, we shoot, I don't often talk about money in here, but we shoot for about $100 profit a day. And that gives us more than enough money to pay the bills above and beyond my teacher's salary. And between the teacher's salary and our collective eBay income with my whole family, we're able to make ends meet and provide for a little bit extra for our family. So when we can make $100 profit a day, I'm really happy. I mean, let's face it, that you know that's $35,000 a year if you can do that, which is awesome. We didn't have a ton of sales today. We're usually at 10 sales, 11 sales, 14 sales, whatever. We're usually over seven. And we had a homeschool hustler sale as well, and we're gonna have them down here. Both of them are at home. We're gonna have them tell you what sold out of their store. And we had a wonderful gift that somebody sent us, a box that I haven't opened yet, but a box that got sent from somebody to our PO box and it is to the kids. So they're gonna have a fun time opening that. And there's a couple more things I picked up in that PO box as well. We're gonna wait till tomorrow's video and maybe the next day. So if you sent me something last week, keep watching and you'll see a thank you, I appreciate it. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's sold. All right, this is just a putter head cover. This is something that I thought was going to be a really, really nice putter head cover, and it was gonna go for like 15 bucks, like some of them do. And this came from the Lost and Found sale. If you're new to the program, I usually source golf courses in the winter time, and we buy out their Lost and Found items because they usually just donate them or throw them away at the end of the season. Because if somebody hasn't come back by January to pick up a club head cover, they're never coming back, so. Uh, this is a good one, I thought, and it turned out to be just okay, $9.40. But it's all pure profit at this point, so you figure between fees and shipping, you're making about a $5 profit on this item. It's Cleveland Huntington Beach Collection. All right, so we're going to add that to our lost and found total. $250 total buy. We're up to $388 so far, so we've already made a profit of $138 and still have two really large items that should go for around $70 to $90 a piece, and then quite a few club head covers as well. Just want to say thank you, and your Inman is headed out to James, Shalane, Sean, Tom, Rick, and Samuel. <laughs> You're cute, buddy. What do you need, sweetie? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> I guess he wants to be. You want to look at that gift, don't you? That's yeah. what he wants. All right, we'll open it in a little bit. Okay. And we hope these guys help you get those things out of the back into your store. That's what they're designed for anyway. All right, we haven't sold these in a while. This is Twisted Radio Waves, and this is Dr. Demento and Jerry Garcia. And they're brand new, I suppose. I bought two boxes. I've told this story so many times, so I apologize to all you folks who've been around for a long time, but we have so many new subs all the time. I feel like I got to tell it every once in a while. So I was negotiating with the Goodwill. They had these things, I think they were marked at 99 cents a piece. And there was two boxes of them, 500 in each box. So they've got a thousand of these things marked at 99 cents a piece. And I talked to the guy at the counter. I'm like, hey, can I talk to a manager about these? You know, I'd like to buy them all. 
And he's like, sure, and comes out. And the guy says, you know, how much do you want to pay for these? I'm like, you know, I'll give you five bucks a box. It's going to take you forever to sell them. He's like, sure, sold. <laughs> so I paid, what is that? Do some math there. That's a penny a piece. You know, a thousand of them for 10 bucks. So a penny a piece. And they're selling two at a time for eight ninety five. So we've sold probably 300 of them. So even at that, that's about two fifty profit each one. So it's it's looking at twenty five hundred dollars, a little bit more than that actually, probably closer to three thousand because the first batch we sold, maybe the first hundred, we sold for a lot more than that. We just had to reduce the price a little bit to get them to keep moving. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to leave it at that price, even though shipping costs have gone up. We're still making two fifty a piece on them. To make three grand off of those two boxes is amazing because it's one listing. Actually, there were two listings because I list. I used to list them one at a time. Now I do two at a time. A lot of viewers have bought these. I appreciate it. These are not to viewers, and they're really nice sales. So I, I love this kind of thing. I would suggest, highly suggest, picking up this kind of an item if you think it will sell over time for that price. I mean, what's your gamble? You gamble and lose. You lose ten bucks. You gamble and win. You just made three grand. You know, I'll be gray and old and and in bad shape and retired by the time I sell all thousand of those things, but it will definitely still be worth my money. All right, these two are going out to Melanie and I need to read this one to you. She says, uh, per the Rolo comment this AM, and I'm assuming that's when she, she watched the, the episode that she's talking about, could you please sign these two in a man before shipping them? Sometimes it's hard for me to remember because I do the bulk printing. To sign something if somebody's asked me to sign it so i think that's what melanie i think that's what you're referring to but this is what i wanted to read she says uh i sent you an email about helping me promote water safety a bit ago i wanted to send your kids a book my daughter wrote about keeping safe at the beach we lost my husband her dad 17 years ago to a rip current rescue where he saved a seven-year-old and then went to save the boy's dad, but both men drowned that day, Black Sunday in Florida. If I find your P.O. box, I'm sending, I'm sending the book and a simple request to help my cause. Many thanks, Melanie. So, first of all, Melanie will be, will be more than willing to help for sure. We go to the beach all the time. We go to North Myrtle Beach and we go to the Outer Banks from time to time. And, uh, and those things definitely happen down there and it's always something that my wife discusses with our kids when we're at the beach so uh, let me say this let me say you know I get so many emails so I apologize I have not seen that email I am sure it's on there you know sometimes it's really difficult usually a lot of times I'll log into my email and I'll just answer the first three or four and the rest tend to get buried I do my best and when I have time I try to knock a bunch of them out so uh, that one is one I never looked at and you have my apologies so if you want that P.O. box, it is in the description below, but let me give it to you real quick. It's 1427 Bedford, Virginia, and it's 24523. And you can put Commonwealth Picker on it, and it'll get there, and we'll definitely uh, take a look at that book for you. And we appreciate it, and I'm going to sign these two right now. All right, there you go, and they are headed your way. All right, you often hear me talk about my boy Bubba, 17-year-old. Well, he used to do some picking with me out at yard sales. He still does from time to time, but it's for me, not with me. And he used to do some on his own, and he would sell. He would list and clean and ship and do all that stuff. And it became a little overwhelming with his schedule. So he had some stuff left over that he had bought that he had not sold yet. And I just said, listen, you know, I'll be happy to buy it off of you. What had sold was the good stuff. So oftentimes what happens with new resellers and new pickers is they end up picking a lot of stuff early on that they end up not being able to sell. And that was the same with him, even though I was kind of guiding him through. Sometimes you got to make a few mistakes. So basically I ate some of his mistakes, knowing that I would make a little money on him, but it would take a little while. So that's one of these right here. So he bought this jacket and, you know, that's a pretty good pick, actually. You think, hey, that's a nice little vintage bomber jackets got the nice zipper department of the air force but there's a couple issues with it not really condition issues it's a difficult lister it you have to list it very generically because there's no brand name in it there's not even a size in it and so sometimes without those it's a little bit difficult so you have to put some other things on there to hopefully get it to sell so when you have an item like that it ends up being an item that gets buried in almost every listing and people have to scroll forever to find it and so it takes forever to sell and then you have to lower the price 
And that's basically what happened. Now, he only paid five bucks for this thing. I think it was listed for 30 bucks, free shipping for a long time, just to entice people with the free shipping. So I just decided it's really, really, it's really been hanging around for two years. And I gave him, I gave him what he paid for it. I gave him five bucks and he was happy for it because he made a bunch of money on the other stuff. And I just figured I'd, I'd eat it, I'd list it. I'll make my money back in a little bit more and I'll go ahead and I'll put it in my closet. Well, it moved all the way to the left of my closet, which means it's been there a long time. And I just lowered the price on it the other day for 25 bucks. Matter of fact, I sent out an offer, which I rarely do. For 25 bucks, there was two watchers on it and somebody bid on it for 25 bucks. So. I was happy that they bit and I am uh, happy to get it out of the store and I just calculated my profit out to be about seven dollars with this one so it's not very much but at least it's gone he got his five bucks I made seven bucks on top of that and uh, we've got quite a bit of space left in that closet now all right this one's going out to Pam and she says Kevin I enjoy watching your show your family is beautiful and you have every right to be proud of them and I am watching you has enticed me to start selling on eBay again after many, many years of not selling. I hope this Inman brings me good luck. Congrats on 10,000 subs. eBay store, Pam Teeks 212. Thank you, Pam. We appreciate it. We hope he brings you luck too. All right, here is the item I was talking about. And this, I'm not going to pull everything out because it's already bubble wrapped and everything. I'll pull out the pamphlet. I was alluding to this in the intro, and it is a soft tail vertical mount air cooler kit and it is all brand new in the box right there and i bought this for five bucks at a yard sale and i have it on video and i went back and i tried for like 10 minutes to try to find the right video and i just couldn't find it it has to be one of the earliest ones there is a chance i put it on i made a bunch of videos that i never aired thinking that i would air them eventually in the middle of the winter time and then we found some really good sales in the winter time and and kind of pushed those back so eventually we'll put them on maybe we'll start putting them on on wednesdays as well and maybe we'll magically see this one because i can't find it on the videos but i remember having this particular sale on video because I remember a particular joke I made with the couple that was selling it to me and I thought it was pretty funny and it would look good on YouTube. At any rate, this one sold, I bought it for five bucks. It sold for 150 bucks. Now it's free shipping, but it's pretty light. It shouldn't cost more than 10 bucks max to ship that thing. So it's gonna be a really, really nice profit. We're gonna make well over $100 profit on that item. And that's the kind of thing we just love to see down here. So don't pass up, but well, Harley stuff in general, although there, don't just buy every Harley part. There are so many Harley parts that really don't sell for a lot. So you have to be careful and look them up. Now, a lot of Harley parts are worth a ton of money. So you gotta be careful which ones you buy, which ones you don't buy, but obviously the Harley branded stuff is going to sell. Don't overpay for it, because you would be surprised. Go out and look the items, model numbers up so you don't make a mistake. All right, this one is going out to James, and from the look of your name right there, it looks like you're from Virginia as well. It looks like you're a Commonwealther. I uh, love both of your channels, Commonwealth Picker and Commonwealth Flipper. Watch both of them daily and just started reselling about a month ago, and we hope this will bring good luck. So thanks so much, James. All right, speaking of my boy picking with me, this is something he picked for me instead of for himself. And I pay him to do that. It works out better for both of us. This remote was part of a giant box that he bought. And I can't remember if he said he paid $2 or $3, but we've sold quite a few of these. And this one sold for 15 bucks. A lot of remotes are worthless and a lot of remotes have some value. This has been listed though for a long, long time. So I'm pretty happy to get $15 out of it. And I have the perfect box for this and it will probably just barely stay under four ounces is my guess. I don't know, maybe not. It'll definitely stay under eight. All right, I just weighed it and it weighs four ounces, so it's not staying under four ounces. All right, as always, thanks for joining us and we hope you come back tomorrow to join us again. We hope you all are doing really well, staying healthy out there, and we hope your eBay stores are staying healthy as well. Hang around and check out what's sold out of the Homeschool Hustler stores. I think Reagan and Turner are both gonna handle that sale and they're gonna open a gift that got sent to us at the P.O. Box. All right, y'all, we have a gift that somebody sent us, and we have a viewer sale out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Reagan, what's that? Garfield. 
That is Garfield. It's from 1981, which is Fun House. I don't think it's the old Dakin one. Let me look at the back there. Fun Farm, that's what it is, in 1981. So that's pretty cool. It's a beanie, and it sold for 15 bucks out of a sale we just went to last week, and I haven't aired it yet. How you doing, Turner? Good. Good. That's over 15 bucks, so it should be... I paid 3 bucks for it, but I also got a Major League Baseball with it. So, because of that, it's going to end up being a pretty good deal. Oh, my goodness. Look at what's going on down here, y'all. I didn't... Did y'all even let her in here? What is going on? Can y'all see back there? You can't even see. There, there. Now you can see. See what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah. A little rotten cat. <laughs> And Sophie's being a good girl. All right. Well, that's awesome. Nice little oh sale. God, she wants down. She wants down. All right. Let, let, she's not going to jump down from there. She's not dumb. Yeah, you do it. There. Now she's down. She's going to chase that cat. That's what she's going to do. All right. That is a nice little sale. Should be right around a... If we paid three bucks for it, it should be about a $6 profit on it, which isn't great, but we also have that baseball. So it's enough for you guys to have $1 saved, $1 spent, and one dollar to donate. What do you think? All right, awesome. let's tell them who bought this. Red Cardinal Treasures bought this, and that is really awesome. And you are a great supporter of the program, and a few other shows. So we really, really do appreciate it. And we saw some cardinals today, didn't we, y'all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got some bird seed, and we got our Virginia red cardinals out there. You hear that cat? It's being bad, isn't she? Yeah. All right. All right, we got an incredible gift sent to us, and I, I'm not sure I have your name right. I know I've done this before. I think it's Ivan, but it might be Yvonne and, and Angie. And you're from Tennessee, I believe, and you guys have been very, very kind to us and the show. And you sent us this, which is going to find a great place here in the Commonwealth Cabin somewhere. And it's so appropriate since we've sold those two Louisville hats and a couple of Tennessee plates. So that is very, very kind of you, and we really do appreciate it. And uh, it's a nice little note as well, and I'll just let y'all take a look at that. And look at this amazing gift that they sent the kids to. Look at what they sent these kids. Go ahead, pull them open. Oh no, Chewbacca! Yeah, it's you like that? Big. You like Chewie, don't you? Yes, I do. I mean, that is incredibly nice. Oh, incredibly I love nice. Unicorns. Yes, you do love unicorns, don't you? Uh oh, y'all hear that? That's yeah. Sophie clawing at the door. Whoa. Let's see, turn it around. Man, that is a huge Chewbacca. Holy moly, y'all are way too kind. You know there's more in there. Look at that. Go ahead and open the rest. Maybe we'll have to give more than a dollar away for that last one. Two, oh, we're definitely giving one away now, for sure. You got all three unicorns, my goodness. And look at that, Turner. You got some cards in there, Spider-Man, and who else is in? Oh my gosh, There's look at all lot. that stuff. Look at that. Oh, that yeah. is really cool. I hear no Superheroes, hurts. that's some Star Trek stuff right there yeah. too. Yeah. Holy cow, that's gonna that's be cool, cool to go through. All right, would you all tell Ivan and Angie thank you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>